On August 8, 2016, all of Ukraine learned and started speaking about this modest, although very hard-working guy from the city of Cherkasy. Halfway around the world, in Brazil's Rio de Janeiro, he won for Ukraine the first medal at the 2016 Olympic Games. It was a silver medal in the 10th meter pneumatic rifle competition. The Ukrainian national team won its first medal on the third day of the Olympic Games in Rio. Meet the hero of our program, Serhii Kulish, Olympic champion and medalist of the European Shooting Championship. Zodiac sign, stubborn ram. Favorite animal, bow, I guess. Favorite season of the year, spring. Favorite city, Prague. Serhii Kulish was born 24 years ago in the city of Cherkasy into an ordinary family of workers. At the age of 10, he first came to the shooting ring. My closest friend told me that there is such a shooting range and that I can try my shooting skills free of charge. In my childhood years, I was interested in shooting. That is, I did not think that it would lead to my competing in some kind of elite sport. I wanted to shoot and it drew me in. So I stayed in practice at the shooting range. For this he was practicing fencing and break dancing. Why shooting? It's a very complex sport. He apparently did not choose it himself. He went to the range with his friend when they were still kids. They came and he started practicing at the shooting range. The shooting section was recruiting children from the age of 12, but the coaches quickly sent it a real sharpshooter talent in a short and thin boy named Serhi and made an exception for him. This youngster came to the range and shot the best among all others, despite the fact that for some time he was the smallest of all, both in terms of height and age. But back then, at his level, he was already hitting the targets better than all of his colleagues during initial training. He was short in height and very thin, so it was rather difficult to find suitable equipment for him. Then he put on a jacket that he shared with another boy while shooting, and so the training process continued, and our gunner modified his children's rifle into a a more advanced version. They gave me the SM2 rifle. These very old small bore rifles are still around. And I was so small that I could not reach the handle, so they cut the heel piece, especially for my size. I remember how I brought my parents a target with three shots. My coach praised me, and I constantly told my parents how talented I was in this form of sport. At 14 to 15 years of old, he achieved the results at international competitions. In 2010, he became the bronze medalist at the Singapore Youth Olympic Games in the 10th meter pneumatic rifle competition. He won medals at some stages of the World Cup. In 2012, he went to the London Olympics, but was so nervous that he failed to make it into the final. But he got the necessary experience for successful performances during the next Olympic Games. So he shows us all the rifles he takes in his hands to shoot at major world competitions. <laughs> I have two rifles and two types of weapons. These are small ball rifles with a distance of 50 meters and a pneumatic rifle from 10 meters. I won a medal in Rio de Janeiro shooting these weapons. In total, four exercises are shot. Two of them are shot from 50 meters in the line position and three in standard position. And two other exercises we shoot using pneumatic rifles. Now they have added one more exercise. Before we shot only the HP-50 mixed with girls and HP-6, that one that I shot at the Olympics. At the 2016 Rio Olympics, Serhii competed in both the small bore and pneumatic rifle shooting. His coaches made metal bets on one type of weapon, but everything turned out totally different. Honestly, we expected him to win a medal in another exercise, as pneumatic rifles are difficult for Sahi. With them you may find your thing, but after a couple of training sessions you can easily lose the knack for it. With small bore weapons it is a bit different. There, if you feel it, then this feeling stays in you for a longer period. You mean to say that you're hoping for a medal in the small bore rifle, right? Yes. Yeah.
по пневматику стреляли мы самый первый старт. We first started shooting new medic rifles, but as it turned out, I realized that I need to win a medal here. I thought to myself, why wait for the standard? Why? It's now or never. So basically, it turned out that way, and the standard method did not work out. There was key moment for Kulish right before the medal event. Both he and Abhinav Bindra from India reached fourth place with the same number of points. In short, the two rival shooters were faced with a decisive shootout for winning the top medal. I earned fourth place and achieved the same result as one another athlete. Some of the judges assigned us a shootout, that is one shot. One shot had to decide whether I take home one of the medals or settle for fourth place. This final shot truly decided much in my life. I made my shot and I won. He hit 10.1, and when I hit 10.5, I understood that I had already taken third place, meaning that I could relax. And when I heard the signal load quickly, I understood that I had to continue shooting to the end. A Russian was in third, I outshot him and took second. I only failed to catch up with my rival Kampriani. Having scored 204.6, Kulish became the silver medalist at the 2016 Olympic Games in Rio. His reward is the sixth Olympic shooting medal in the history of independent Ukraine. Dozens of TV cameras, fellow countrymen from Cherkasy, friends, parents and sports fans met the first Rio medalist at the Burispol International Airport outside of Kyiv to greet and congratulate the athlete on this victory. Naturally, the athlete was pleasantly surprised, as he did not expect such a warm reception by his native Ukrainian supporters. I was at a loss for words. It was very cool. Honestly, I was not expecting it. I thought there would be no more than five cameras, but everyone called, everyone wrote. It was truly awesome and really helps me. He was ready for another medal, the exercise and some kind of a bad luck. Literally, he was three points short of making it to the finals, but sir, he proved that he can shoot in the final. Before the competition, we had great confidence in him. Moreover, I could always hear confidence in his voice. He's always modest, and after the competition, he was totally exhausted. I guess this was because he gave it his all. He did everything he could in these competitions. He already had a medal in his hands, but I nevertheless cried and worried for him. Sports dream, Olympic gold medal. Live dream. Currently, I do not just have a dream. I have a great desire to move out of my parents' house, live in my own apartment, and establish my own family. Love. It is when the eyes are glowing, and you just want to do everything for such a person. Happiness. When I am at home, all is calm, and I don't think about my next competition. I just relax. Currently, a year and a half after the Olympics, when the medal euphoria passed and the interest in him gradually faded, Kulish can comfortably focus on training and prepare for future competitions. On average, during three hours of training, so he takes about a hundred shots. Now he is shooting from his favorite small bore rifle. In 2017, he became the European vice champion in the 50 meters three position competition, shooting precisely with his favorite class of a sporting weapon. I like shooting with small bore rifles more. It's much more interesting, as I practice on an open air shooting range where there is wind and other natural conditions that can either hinder or help me. So the elements make this sport quite challenging. Of course, there are more problems, so to say. But at the Olympics, I was either at 11th or 14th place. I do not remember the exact place. Of the 120 shots, 10 of them missed the target and did not make it to the finals to compete for a medal. Recently, the management of the shooting range where Serhi Kulish is currently training acquired modern equipment for new medic rifles. The equipment allows trainees to a laser sense the bullet hitting the target and information appears on the screen. The maximum possible best result is 10.9.
Nobody shoots at the targets anymore, because shooting has the tens. 10.4, 9.8, and every shot is judged by the tens. For this reason, the paper targets simply cannot show such results. They take eight shots, and one person drops out. And then, after every two, one more drops out. And if you reach first place, it's exactly 20 shots in the final. Well, now the rules of the final have been changed, and now the shooters take 23 or 25 shots. И, ну, если ты до первого места проходишь, там первое, второе остается, то это как раз таки 20 выстрелов получается. Но сейчас там правила финала изменили, вот буквально недавно, и сейчас получается там 23 выстрела или 25. This equipment will allow the athlete to better prepare for the Tokyo 2020 Games. For the shooter of such a level as Serhii Kulish, not so much physical training is important as the ability to labor at the right moment. The psychological training of the shooter is one of the main tasks of his coaches. I know that some famous athletes imagine themselves as either a sack of soil or a stone-cold monument. Or they imagine their hands and legs freezing, that is, they are not moving. And this form of self-suggestion during the shooting exercises allows them to achieve greater stability and even make a timely shot. Вот позволяет им добиться там лучшей устойчивости или сделать выстрел вовремя. Это психологический. This is a psychological sport form. It is both technical and psychological. That is in other sports like strength sports. There is adrenaline. You rush into it. Your strength oozes together with sweat and so on. This does not work for us because we're standing still and shooting, and it's difficult to fight adrenaline and agitation. When the heart starts to beat fast and with strong blows, you have to catch that target and somehow fight it. I do not know for sure, but it seems to me that all this comes with experience. Favorite dish – potato fritters. Cooking skills – I can cook instant noodles, I'm good at that. Favorite drink – tea. But a shooter also cannot do without some kind of physical training. A good muscular corset is needed to fixate the body in the right position for shooting, especially from standing and kneeling positions. A costume specially customized for each athlete also helps in this intense sport of accuracy. Mind you, this costume is quite weighty. Physical coordination, self-control and the ability to focus at the right moment – those are probably the most critical attributes of a professional shooter. You need to manage your own body. Not just manage the body, but manage very small muscles. In gymnastics, for example, big muscles are involved. You have to raise your body. But here, on the contrary, there are very small muscles through the whole arm. Only one finger must work. It is equally important that a shooter not blink when taking a shot. After all, a shot is one moment when a bullet flies out of the barrel. It's a fraction of a second. What you do before it or after is no longer of any importance. What is important is the split second. The ability to focus on this moment determines the result. The new medic rifle competition takes place only in a closed room, but small bore rifle shooting can also be conducted at an open air shooting range. Suppose that when shooting a distance of 50 meters at an open shooting range, the temperature is 5 degrees above zero. It is when it's very cold. Sometimes it's very hot. We arrived in Thailand, and it can be plus 40 degrees outside. Wearing this suit while shooting for three hours is a difficult challenge. Favorite music? Mostly it's club music. Favorite film? At the moment I prefer action films, because I don't have to think much when I watch them. For me they are very relaxing. Everyone fights and fights, and in the end the good guys always win. Hobby – pool, fishing. Sir he likes to spend his free time with friends and with his beloved girl. He loves to joke around, laugh, play a game or two of pool and go fishing. He's not a big fan of hunting. I'm not a hunter. I have never gone hunting. By pure accident, I ended up in a place where I witnessed how this process takes place. I did not shoot from a rifle. It just happened that I ended up at the scene and saw the hunters drinking beer or booze and shooting at tin cans. Then I realized that hunting was not my thing at all. One day, some of his friends asked Sir He to demonstrate his skills at an ordinary shooting range. He tried to do so, but the result turned out to be rather unexpected. 
I was shooting in a gallery. It was this past summer in a circus that visited Cherkasy, and I did not win the toy prize. It's all about pure luck. There is no professionalism. You are given uneven bullets and put in a position outside the sights. So, had I come there with my own rifles, they likely would have gotten tired of giving me teddy bears as a winner's prize. Если бы я пришел туда со своим оружием, я думаю, они бы просто устали поддавать мне медведей. The Olympic shooting success of their fellow countrymen got many Cherkasy residents interested. Parents became interested in sending their children to practice this sport. People have heard that such a sport is cultivated in Cherkasy. While earlier children came to us mainly from our country, today they come from other parts of the city. This is not a mass phenomenon. Our shooting range cannot accommodate a large stream and volume of all those interested. And spending several hours in the shooting gallery practicing such a mundane, non-dynamic and cautious sport is not to everyone's liking. Many try to shoot the most productive stay and the strongest ones win. For example, our hero, Serhii Kulish, he devoted 15 years of his life to his favorite sports and to this day does not imagine his life without shooting. As long as he is clear-eyed and firm-handed, Serhii is ready to continue improving his skills and aims at targets of his dreams – an Olympic gold medal.